Ethel won't need this while she's with the zombies. I'll light it from the fireplace. So, that's done. Absolutely not. Dwarves use long fuses to ignite an explosive charge. Those explosions can be pretty powerful, especially underground. <laughs> yes, yeah, something like that would work too. The main thing is that we're far enough away and undercover while the thing goes off. Boom. Absolutely not. Dwar Those explode. <laughs> yes, yeah, something like that would. The main thing is that we're far enough. I'll just press the candle onto the cross piece where the missing pan used to be. So, that should hold. The scales are suspended from the stand and the candle is on one side. I have the feeling I'm on to something. The scales are suspended from the stand and the candle is on one side. I have the feeling I'm on to something. I need a fuse or some other way to detonate the explosives from a distance. The bag is on one end of the rope and the this looks promising. The bag is on one this looks prom. The bag is on this looks prom. Okay, I poke a hole in the bag, sand runs out, it falls onto the scales, pushing one side down and raising the candle on the other side. It ignites the explosive charge and boom, we have our coal. And, thanks to our ingenuity, all our fingers too. Everyone take cover! Right then, heads down, ready to fire. Ah! No! Right now, now! Now, uh, any moment now. Nate, no! Come on, Nate! Wake up! We've got to do something. You have to repair him. I can't. I'm not an engineer. That doesn't matter. Help him. I... Wait a minute. Maybe there is a way. Grandad told me about it. The best gnomish engineers pass this technology on to their students. Do it. Now, work, you stupid thing. Do you have a heavy wrench? That works better. Not necessary. 
Nothing that he can't fix himself, I'd say. We were worried, Nate. <coughs> but then someone saved you. As someone who'd forgotten for a moment that he couldn't. Nate! Are you okay? <coughs> Dwarves believe coal brings happiness. I think it mostly makes for dirty fingers. Okay, guys, let's get the pile to the workshop. <coughs> no, no, you're just fine. You can help. Phew! I'll never be a miner, that's for sure. The fire in the furnace heats the kettle above it, turning the water to steam, making the pressure rise. The hotter the fire, the better. We need coal. and he'll make even less. Stand on the seesaw again, Timmy. Sure. Hey, Nate. <coughs> Nate, can you come over for a minute? I need some extra weight. <coughs> Trust me. That should do it. Ready, Timmy. More power. Woo -woo -woo. That's it. <coughs> ah! Thanks. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> we make a good team. Yippee! Another round. It was my pleasure. However, there's no connection to the steam engine. Have your feet belts failed? <coughs> so we need a really strong one.
looks good. Getting the coal here was quite a challenge. But the pile should be enough to get the delivery done. Coal, shovel, a little fire in the oven. Looks like everything's ready to go. The fire in the furnace heats the... The hotter the fire, the better. That's that. Now everything should work. The constructor works? We'll only know once we try. Come on then. All hands on board. Let's get this thing up to speed. If we can get the pointer into the green and keep it there, the machine will be running efficiently. Uh, and how do we do that? The good old gnome way. We just keep fiddling around with it until something happens. Oh, oh, all right, you're the boss. Beyond our wildest dreams. The slates are practically flying out of the machine. If only we had the paint, too. Here we are. Lovely pink paint. As requested. That's... what's that? That's Ethel. She's been helping me. But isn't that... Yes, and she's my friend. Now, clear a space there. We have to paint the tablets fluffy. Yes, Buttercup. That's the last of them. And that means the way to the town is open for business. Clean air, the wide sky. And Timmy's already gone ahead to organize a few chocolates as a welcome gift. We wouldn't have managed without you, Wilbur. The slates look fantastic. How did you manage to make them so quickly? We all worked together, and we had the constructor. 50 slates an hour, rather than four a day. 50 slates? Do you know what this means? The slate business is profitable again, despite the poor price, thanks to low production costs. 
Yes, I thought we might open a little factory outside the town gates. You put up the capital and we bring the know-how. And you'd already have a factory manager too. <laughs> I've got a better idea. You stay where you are and produce a few hundred more of these babies. But, but, that wasn't the deal. I, I promised the others I'd get them out of here. You should never make a promise you can't keep. You've got a week. You better get cracking. Or I might just let slip your hiding a wanted criminal down there. Bill! Gulliver, I'm so sorry. I never thought he could be so unfair. He gave me his word. How can someone so rich and successful be so dishonest? People are weird when it comes to gold. What are we going to do? Are we going to spend the rest of our lives amongst the rubbish building things for Bill so he can live a better life? I'm sorry, Gulliver. I really thought he would take us out of here. We... We need a plan. Only I just don't know where to start. I've... Ivo! Princess, Ivo is in town! What the hell are you? Whatever you are, you'd better make like a tree and get out of here. I'm an elf and demand to know what's going on here. Too fat to be an elf. Well, really, I am. Uh... You're not allowed in the upper town without permission. Get on your thing and take a hike. I'm Ivadora, Princess of the Woodland Realm and I demand to be taken to the Archmage this instant. The Archmage is dead, murdered by that Weathervane fella. That's idiotic. That's the official version, the only one you should mention in this town. Weathervane is a wanted gnome. Him and the other terrorists have fled into the underground. You think that Wilbur Weathervane, little Wilbur, is a terrorist? <laughs> what size got to do with it? That damn king of thieves is a terrorist. Him and his rats are the heart of the underground. Where are they hiding? I already told you, in the underground. There are hundreds of ways down there, if you're a rat. And Van Buren is having all the rat holes she can find blocked up. And if one is not a rat? I only know of one way, big enough for a grown man. That means it's maybe even big enough for you. <laughs> this grand entrance to the underground, where exactly is it? Are you planning to make common cause with the terrorists? Perhaps I want to arrest them. Van Buren isn't interested in making arrests. She wants Weathervane and the King of Thieves well and truly out of her way. They both mean trouble, always have done. I've got nothing against your friend, but I'd love to see that little French rat with the Spanish accent put to the sword. Where's the entrance? You won't get any information out of me, Elf. Trust me, I'm doing you a favor. If Alistair is currently indisposed, who's in charge? Merchant Council leader Van Buren. Then take me to her. Believe me, you don't want to go anywhere near that woman, not to mention her daughter. I'm sure I'll find out exactly what I need to know. 
You shouldn't be here. You should save your skin and get out of here while you can. You've got to think for two now. Don't forget that. I... Bye. Come on, Buttercup. Perhaps we'll find out more elsewhere. much every known plant species in the elf burrow but this what is it smiling flowers hi there well hello there oh you. wanted for archmage's murder is this dangerous terrorist still not been apprehended Ah, it's a lot of nonsense. Van Buren wants to get rid of the rats because they're Alistair's allies. She calls them terrorists so that her people can snoop around under the pretense they just want to block off the rat holes. Completely incidentally, wink, wink, they find out, of course, who lives where and what they think of Van Buren. You cheap troll dung, I tell you. Hello, Mr. Fox. Oh, shit. It appears we need to have a little conversation. You must be Council Leader Van Buren. Clever girl. I wanted to ask you if... What's all this? Oh. You should take care of what you say, Mr. Fox. Think of the children. Come along, sweetie. Oh, Mama! Mama, look, look! I made him! Isn't he sweet? Oh, well done, darling. That old Jenkins will have learnt his lesson good and proper now. I want him! Sorry, little one. Buttercup belongs to me. The elf is right, sweetie. The hippogriff doesn't belong to us. I made him, Mama. He's mine! But, sweetie... Mine, 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 mine! Oh, of course. Then, you take him with you. Huh? I didn't see them. Sorry. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> My carelessness. Ow. The daughter of the council leader. She's responsible for all these transformations, right? <laughs> How is that possible? Normally magic fades after a while. Where's she getting her power from? Can you tell me anything about the murder of the Archmage? Yeah. <laughs> Was there actually any murder at all? I mean, is he really dead? Wilbur and the rats would never have harmed him. They're being made into scapegoats? Assuming the Archmage is still alive, Van Buren would have kept him close by, wouldn't she? In the Mage Tower? In the school? Right, that's where I'm heading next then. Van Buren can't have gained power by legitimate methods. These da... These 
lovely things around my head stop me from saying certain things? Like swearing? Ha! <laughs> oh, apparently, yes. Uh, Sybil Van Buren's power without any to do so. Censorship is what it is. Do you know what the worst thing about censorship is? I understand. What are you going to do about those things around your head? What can I do? I'm a journalist, not a mage. There aren't any mages left in this town. Van Buren has them all. Magic is the key to her power. Does she think that only a mage can stop her now? How convenient that the town's most inventive mage is underground and wanted for murder. I must go. Stay strong. You might find this useful if you want to take a look round the upper town. Thank you. Wanted for the murder of Archmage Alistair, the dirty, rotten, dangerous, armed and whiffy fiend, Wilbur Weathervane. The wanted man is armed and dangerous. Ha! Wilbur might be many things, but armed and dangerous? Dolls, toy animals, there are puppies and pink dresses. Hmm, a remarkable range of goods. Candy floss, ice cream, chocolate, sweets. I'm an elf and don't feel the heat and cold as much as humans do. Otherwise, elf girls' clothing would be extremely impractical.